This is one of my guilty pleasure meals in Japan. This cold lemon cream pasta. Just kidding, that was nasty. This hefty lad right here. Yaki udon. So I ran home to give it a taste. Oops, that's the wrong box. Ha ha ha. There we go. You may have heard of the popular street food yakisoba. Well, this is that, but with udon noodles instead of regular noodles. Kind of like how Tears of the Kingdom is like Breath of the Wild, but with udon noodles. And it uses wheat from Kyushu, so that's nice and fancy. Beautifully packaged in a boat of plastic, this filling meal is going to last me about two hours before I have to eat again. So I opened up my King of Plastic Lions to reveal a mess of udon. I don't really know how else to describe it. A mess is pretty good. Well, it has a little piece of carrot, so it has to be healthy. So why is this a guilty pleasure? Well, I'll tell you. It's a guilty pleasure because it's not really that good. Surely someone out there understands me. You're halfway through your meal, but you don't understand how you got that far, or why you can't stop eating it. The flavor is average. The texture is chewy, which is nice, but otherwise kind of meh. And honestly, you can make this at home for half the cost and double the flavor. But every once in a while, my body craves this specific yaki udon from 7-Eleven. I guess the moral of the story here is eat what you like, even if you don't really like it. It's like only up. Everyone's playing it, but does anyone actually like it?